history of African-American cooperatives. There's one I want to talk to you about that involves two people. One of them is George Schuyler. Schuyler was a bit of a Garveyite, Marcus Garvey's United Negro Improvement Association, Black Nationalist Group, and a left of center guy. Schuyler, during the Great Depression, decided that he wanted to do something to help African-Americans in terms of uh, economic independence and food self-sufficiency. So he created this, what's known as Young Negroes Cooperative. And he hired a very young Ella Baker, who's one of my heroes in history. Ella Baker came on as his assistant. And what that organization did was set up food co-ops throughout the United States. And they were buying clubs. They were a black owned and operated grocery stores in which people could buy shares into them and make sure that they had control of their food system. Uh, it was a short-lived initiative that lasted roughly from 1931 to 1932, but an important one. And there are many other cooperatives and collectives that come out of this movement. And it's Ella Baker is also key. She's key because she goes on to become one of the founding members of SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee at Shaw University in North Carolina. And Ella Baker is a key component of the civil rights movement. And she works closely with students and she's very involved in the programs of SNCC, some of which is providing uh, food and food self-sufficiency for people in the Mississippi Delta. So there's this long history of Ella Baker's involvement in left to center politics food sovereignty and economic independence for black people that I think is notable and I want to mention today.